guys, what is going on? Blossom's back, and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives, and another episode of a 1 million opening with a bit of a twist. We're going to be opening a really fat titanium pack as well, because today is indeed a special occasion, celebrating the birthday of Daddy Jim, the guest of honor. What's good, man? How you doing? Very good morning to you, and it's an absolute pleasure being here, sir. Always a pleasure to have you. Happy belated birthday. Everyone watching the premiere, feel free to put it down in the chat. Happy birthday to Mr. Jimbo over here. Now, we're going to go straight to predictions. My guy is saying that we're going to get one legend, one epic, and six ultras. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. And don't forget the charger. Hi, hi. Yes. And of course, the most important thing is the 1969 charger, a card that we have not pulled since the 10 mil, actually before the 10 mil opening. I just only started counting after the 10 mil opening. And since then, we've done 4 mil uh, of 1 mil openings as well. So we're about, you know, more than 14 million since the last 69 charger, which is ridiculous. We pull an Atlas within that time as well. Um, last opening was fantastic. We pulled three epics, all of them being Jerry's. But it was three epics nonetheless, so that was really, really strong. I think we pulled like four ultras as well. Five times seems to be the pack of the year. Uh, the singles have been absolutely terrible. So I'm going to start off with the five times. Uh, Daddy Jim, tell me when. Go for it, baby. Let's get it. Happy belated. And uh, while we're doing this, shout out to everyone else that's in the stream. What's good to British Porsche? We have Oliver. We have Sierra Cartel. And for guys who can speak, Condor. What's up? Bye -bye. It's been good. I hope we get some good stuff in here, man. I really hope we do. Uh, and really what we want the most is anything that can help us in that jailbreak event. And when I mean things that can help us, I don't just mean cars required, but just fuse material in general. And last but not least, Brazen. What's good? Hi, that's me. Hi, that is you. Predictions? Um, I don't know specifically what we're opening. Like, it's just a lot to remember, so I just don't know what to say. <laughs> it's it's the regular, man. It's like, you know, about 30 swimming packs here and there, you know, a titanium pack here and there. We've got 44 and two more to go. Oh! All right. Well, oh. I was feeling a little bit sad because I was like, it's 44. There are two more cards. It's probably like, okay, that's a good start. That's a Nabarf uh, 500R3T. That's a fantastic card to pull. One of the best RQ50s, in my opinion. Doesn't even deserve to be RQ50. Last but not least, Daddy Jim, this goes out to you. Birthday boy. Oh, belated birthday boy. Let's get it. Oh! 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 That is Hell so is good! Cool. One of the best 80s! Four wheel drive, off road! That's, That's good! That's good for hybrid events. Is it for what event? Hybrid events. Oh, well, there you go! That's, that is a fantastic freaking start! Oh my god, all right, happy birthday. Yo, man, the man's coming in with the luck. I, you know, the funny thing was before we were talking about this, uh, before we were recording, we were talking about the, uh, what should we call it? We're gonna go five times again. These, these things have been good to us. Uh, we've been talking about um, what we, uh, the Lancia, the Lancia that you need for the jailbreak event. Literally since the time Renaissance, I've been playing, been opening millions and millions and millions. I'm talking tens, if not hundreds of millions of packs since the time Renaissance, never pulled the Lancia. Uh, and, and here from a Serenic pack, we pulled a four wheel drive off-roader from an update that came out just a couple months ago, which I think is just absolutely Absolutely crazy. First pack, what a freaking start. Wow. I'm really, really happy with that. Brazen, I bet you approve. It's French too. What a good car to get. Of course. Uh, Obviously. A little bit late though, because I think that car was actually needed in a couple of GT series or whatever the hell. But whatever. I will, I will take that. That is a car that I'm going to be using in clubs uh, a lot. Let's go to Octavia to start off. And that's the first legendary of February. Uh, we ended off January of a really high number of, I believe it was seven. So we have one in February right now. 45 Lancia Thema, can we emulate that? No, it's a Honda Civic SI, 47, that will sell a lot as a Hot Wheel, but this is not a Hot Wheel. Let's go! A Caterham 7160. So we started off ridiculously strong, and now we're going back down to Earth a little bit. We're gonna return to the single ceramic pack and see how that fares for us. Daddy Jim, how are you thinking? First pack of your video, legendary straight off the bat. That was just perfect. Perfect. Honestly, perfect. Bizzarini Mansa is up next. And obviously we started off at 4.1 mil, so we're gonna go down to 3.1 mil. We still have a lot of packs to go. I'm gonna open five, oh, well, that's because of the video that I made. I, I never want a, <laughs> one of those. 48, Holden, HSV, VXR. All right, that's a decent one for a fourth card. Can we jump? 
We cannot. I mean, I guess it is a jump. We went up by one, but we didn't jump in rarities. Um, let's go three more of these, and then we'll go back to the five times. Uh, so just five singles. Buick Riviera, we have the Ford Fiesta, the Volvo C30, the Hyundai Grandeur, which is useful for in the shadows if you need it. I'm pretty sure that's in the shadows. And the Mazda RX-01. Two more of these singles to go. This one I'm going to dedicate to Condor. Uh, your fifth car is going to be your future daily. Let's see what it's going to be. Mexico. Mitsubishi TMR. Could be something good if there is a job. <laughs> There is no jump. It's that there is there is no jump. That's just a <laughs> super legacy. Well, if chickens was watching, this would be basically the daily of basically mm -hmm. everyone living in Portland. But I don't think Condor is from Portland, so super legacy though. What yeah, do you think, what do you think about that? Yeah. I'll take it. You'll take it. Okay, we'll take. Well, yeah, we take those. Exactly. We take those. I mean, it's it's just pretty cool. I would say uh, Mazda Cosmo. Not not in game, but I wouldn't mind having it in real life. <laughs> Uh, BMW Z1, Plymouth GTX, I would love to daily, oh, actually I don't know if I would love to daily that, but I would love to have one, and a BMW 325, so I think we are carrying on that stigma where 2024 is just not the year of the singles, they've just not been nice, so we're coming back to five times, so let's get it right now, uh, last five, oh we'll start with the supers, I don't know how many, okay I'm gonna count, I'm gonna count, one, two, three, Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, guys, how many packs is in a five times? Five. Six. Dang it. <laughs> 25, right? So we're on 15. So this is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have, I think, five bonuses now. So uh, I, I don't know if I got my counting right, but we'll start off with um, Oliver. Let's go. 44, Piero. That's cool. Uh, and then we're going to go with uh, RLK. You're next. Come on. We've got a 46 TVR 420 Sports uh, Saloon. Uh, we're going to give it to Brazen. Yeah, I think I got my counting right, actually. Mercedes-Benz E320. And then we are going to go to Sierra Cartel. We have a 48. Okay, photo change. And last but not least, of course, guest of honor, Daddy Jim. Let's see if the five times will continue to, sh to, to shower us with luck. 48 over here. And, ooh, five power. Nice. Take that. Yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty nice. So we have about 300,000 to go. Slightly over 300,000. So we can open two five times if we want to or one five times and uh, five singles, or even a times 10 if we're feeling that risky. Uh, Daddy Jim, well, well, your, your, your call, what do you think? Uh, four singles and then four times. Five singles and five times. All right, I was thinking of that. So I'm glad that you thought of that too, because I want to do a little pack race. So um, you start off, uh, Jimbo, with, uh, with a track set. What tracks are we giving out? City Street Small. City Street Small, brazen, give me uh, a surface. Asphalt. Asphalt, it's too small. All right, vanilla, we'll keep it at that. So we'll start off with, I'm gonna start off with Condor, so let's go. Uh, to start off with a Opal GT. I mean, it's 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 good, but like, it's it's low ground clearance. Uh, next, I'm gonna move up the list to Sierra Cartel. I can't fit everyone in though, because we are opening a five times. How many of us are there? One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I can't fit everyone in, because five of you guys would get singles, and then we'll give Jim the best odds and give him a five times, because it's his opening. So, uh, Sierra Cartel is next up, and he's getting a Mitsubishi L200, so that's high ground clearance. I really don't know what, I who's lost. winning the, the City Street Small, though. I believe the Opal. <laughs> the Opal, for sure. It doesn't matter if you have high concurrence or not. Um, RLK is up next. Lancia Fulvia. Uh, Ford. Ah, oh, 2.5! Okay. Um, Jaguar. D-Type. Once Upon a Time. And Altrier. Uh, let's get it. Next one. Let's go. A Tiguan. All right, so that was a 2.5. Done and dusted. Next up, we have Oliver. Let's get it. And then we have, um, of course, Brazen. And then we end up with Daddy Jim. What a fantastic start to the opening. But everything else has kind of gone a little bit downhill from there, I would say. But then we're not done yet because we have the Titans open as well. Still a little barf. Let's go, Oliver. Mits uh, no, I say Mitsubishi. Mercedes Benz CLK 230K. I'm pretty sure that's the best one that we've had so far. Brazen, you're next. Tell me one. Now. Now! All right, let's go. I mean, come on, how hard can it be, right? You just need a medium ground clearance car, performance tires, and that will propel you to first place already. Mazda CX-3, BMW 2002 Turbo, Stegia, again, love that, and... Oh, he's... 
Oh, I win? That's kind of perfect, honestly, Peugeot. So, hey, GTI. Of course. All right. So, last but not least, the final pack. Uh, oh, of the ceramic packs. I'm going to move on to that titanium. It's going to be the ceramic pack times five for uh, Daddy Jim. Now, I'm not going to dedicate the last car uh, to him. Like, just the best car that we get from the fives. But, I mean, it's, it's going to be a lot. You're going to need a lot to beat um, that, that Peugeot. That's a pretty good one to get. Not only is it medium ground clearance and performance, it's 49. So, it's kind of at that, you know, benchmark level. Uh, PC Cruiser's up next. Renault Scenic, Ford Mustang Mach 1, let's get it. I mean, I'm trying to think of the, uh, we're, we're currently sitting on two Ultras and a Legendary, right? So I'm trying to think of the predictions that you guys are talking about just now. For example, British Porsche, he was saying, what was it? One Legi, two Epics, and eight Ultras. So I don't know, I don't think that's like even statistically possible that we can get that. Um, we were saying, I think, what was Daddy Jim saying? It was like one Legend, six Ultra Rears, and uh, an Epic, and a 69 Charger. Yeah. Charger's still possible, not anymore. Uh, Passat is next, uh, Honda Pilot four wheel drive. Durango, we did get a Dodge, but it wasn't the one. Uh, Alfa Romeo GT, I believe there's three more. Can we beat the Peugeot? Uh, Nissan Bluebird, a Tessa, Limited, under 13, U13. Last but not least, Daddy Jim, tell me one. Go for it, baby. Go for it! Ha! <laughs> Dude. That. I win. You do! Congratulations. That, that was a nice one. So, in that one mil, it would have been bad if it wasn't for the legend, but this saved us. Because not only is it just like a legend pull, it is a fantastic one to get. Four-wheel drive, off-road, 88 handling, and honestly, it's it's one of the better, if not one of the best RQ80s out there. But we're not done yet. I asked Danny Jim uh, right before the stream started if I was going to go for Because like, I like to play it safe, you know? I don't like to trust the big packs. Um, so I was thinking, oh, maybe two gel uh, break spectaculars or one titanium. And he was like, you know what? Balls to the wall. Let's just go for it. Everything in the kitchen sink. So as always, guys, titanium odds, we're thinking, you know, 5% for an epic for card five, maybe. Um, epic or super, epic or super, epic or super, epic or ultra, and then legendary or epic. So, you know what, man? Once again, everyone drop a nice little happy birthday to my boy down in the comments below. Jim, it's your call. Tell me when you want me to crack this open. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's get it, y'all. All right, thank you so much, man. Let's get it. I really hope that it's not too early for you. I mean, you raise, you, you wake up pretty early anyway. Imagine the scenes if this was an epic. Oh, man. Oh, let's go. Nah, it's a super. <laughs> oh, God. There, there, there could be another epic, though. Nope, it's another super. Also, shout out, by the way. I, don't, I think this will be the last opening that you guys are going to see with those original top drives card backs because they're changing it in the new update because that's definitely what we need right now. Uh, Mitsubishi Glant VR4. Two more cards to go. These are the ones that mean a lot. So we can either get an epic or a ultra rare here. I, I, can't, I think it's like 10% epic, 90%... Um, Ultra Air, let's go! It is a Audi V8 Quattro, 4.24C. And so that is our third Ultra Air. So there's three Ultra Airs and one Legend. Let's see what the last card is going to be. Jim, you have the honors. Let's go, baby. Let's go! It is! Oh, that's, you know what? In terms of the epics, that's a pretty decent one to get. And honestly, if I fully upgrade this, it might actually be a better version than my one star uh, Jag. That, that actually might be true. That actually is pretty good. So let's add these two in real quick. We're gonna add and lock the C4. We're gonna add the Diablo VT. And it's a good, honestly, Jim, it's a great time to get this because I had this car as a legendary and I actually sold it um, because it was a crappy legendary. But to bring it back and now as an Epic, I think it's gonna be pretty damn good. And it might be a better option than the Jag if I do fully upgrade it, which is something that I'm more than happy to do for a car like this. The only question is how much do I get to save in other areas so if i got rid of you you get the higher top speed on the diablo for sure there is one test bowl so that one's gonna be better i'm not sure about the one mile and stuff though and then that leaves us with 70 rq um but we need to use a four wheel drive for that one and we just don't have one anyway we could use an rct okay that'll be pretty interesting to see if we're, that car is going to help us or not um but in terms of epics that we pulled that was the best epic that we could have gotten so i'm really really happy with that considering like there are a couple of 65s like there's like one two three four five six six 65s 
uh, 367s, uh, 269s, I think we got ourselves a pretty banger of an epic, all things considered. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. One titanium, one million, we got ourselves three ultra rares, one epic, and a fantastic legendary to boot. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Shout out to everyone that was in the stream. A Condor, any words? So, uh, get the WRC. I love it. Yeah, man. That's actually a really good one. I want to compare it to everything here right now. Uh, oh, I need to get rid of the requirements, right? Yeah, I think that is probably one of the better ones that we could have gotten. Let's look at the RQ80 range over here. I mean, it's definitely better than if we pulled things like a Opal Cadet or even a Skoda. Oh, actually, Skoda and it handles it a little bit better. Um, but a, a Delta or maybe even a, a Citroen C4 WRC. But that's a prize card. Anyway, yeah, I mean, we, we that was a really, really fantastic pull. 3788. I want to compare that to the other WRC that I have. 4089. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a really, really good pull. Uh, Brazen. You know what's coming. Any words? Happy birthday, Jim. Happy birthday, Jim. And of course, last but not least, man, my Happy guest birthday, of Jim. honor. Jim, any words? I was going to say thanks ever so much for the stream, man. It's uh, much appreciated. Anytime, man. I hope you have a fantastic day. I know it's not your birthday anymore, so it is kind of like happy the belated. But I hope you have a fantastic day uh, with you and your family as well. And a fantastic, fantastic opening. Honestly, that that is a fantastic legendary to get. And I have no regrets. I don't think this is a bad opening at all. For guys that couldn't speak, shout out to Oliver, who was in here earlier. British Porsche, RLK, and Sierra Cartel. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Remember, stay safe, everybody. Wash your hands and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brown